late time. How's your view out the front yard this morning? Is it good? Did you see any deer? Hey, Donnie. Mm, hey, so all the pressure's equal all the way around, huh? Yeah, yeah. I uh, set them all uh, 45 yesterday, and they're still 45 this morning. Yay! Woo I'll see you in a little while. Yeah, I love you, pretty girl. I love you, too. Good morning, Ruby. Since uh, today's robotics day at the school, I thought we'd do the robot birthday cake Johnny had uh, a few years ago. We had a birthday party at the Taekwondo school, and uh, we had this birthday cake for him. It's pretty cool. I really like uh, some of the things they can do with the cupcakes. Bye, Tuxy. We'll see you later. Tux. So Don went out to the car about 10 o'clock last night to make sure that she was on the garage Wi-Fi. Still looking for that maps update. Haven't had, don't have it yet. It's not here yet. But um, yeah, that didn't seem to make any difference. She was actually on the house weak Wi-Fi. So we did good going out there and switching her over. Um, Derek had a video yesterday, which um, he talked about, you know, getting it, not getting it. I guess he's using his router to sniff the amount of data going to the car. That's interesting. Um, yeah, Don could do that too. But um, there was an interesting comment from one of his viewers that um, a person that had talked to the service center about the maps update and, uh, you know, think we think it's got to be connected to the Wi-Fi. That makes sense. It's a large amount of data and um, it can start and pause, I guess. You know, it can come in sections. So, yeah, I just wish there was a way to know if it had even started or what percentage we're at or without having to call the service center. I'm not going to bug them about it. It'll eventually get here. I see a few people in the forums each day saying, I got it finally. Yay. Hopefully, I'll be able to say that soon. Well, you have a good day, buddy, okay? You too, Mom. I love you. I'll see you for robotics this afternoon. Bye, Mom. Bye. I'm uh, stopped at the Home Depot. I need a couple storage bins and I'm going to check out flowers. Well, all the beautiful annuals are out now. They have the same gorgeous uh, Japanese red maples this year as they did last year. A whopping $189 in the uh, nice, uh, I guess, pot that you could keep it in for a while. This is a garnet, which makes sense because it is a beautiful shade of red. What a vivid and pretty colored petunia. So the smallest uh, Japanese red maple they have is $42.98. Yeah. Don and I really did get a good deal last year down at Broadwell's. Everything sure is pretty. Really not quite enough sunlight though to get good pictures this morning. Alright, I did pick out one plant, a uh, Clematis carnaby and uh, a couple of stories. So, um, I am seeing the hawk up there on the tree limb this morning. 
I've been seeing her in the nest quite regularly. Um, from what I've read about these guys, the male will bring the female food on the nest or occasionally he will spell her. They're pretty good partners. Hey, Tuxie. Hi. Hi. How you doing, buddy? Where's your girls? They're not crowding you out of your bed this morning. Aw, it's a good boy. So Don helped me get all loaded up with my Lego League stuff again. I almost left without this one little part that we didn't have last week. Phew, for going back in and getting that at the last minute. Yeah. Thank you, Donnie. You're welcome, pretty girl. I'll see you in a little while. Right. Well, it's a beautiful day. You enjoy the Yeah, drive. the sun's out now. If only it had been this sunny when I was trying to take flower pictures at Home Depot yeah, this well, morning. If Ruby was going to be home and it wasn't going to rain tomorrow, I'd tell you I'd keep her home and I'd wash her. Yeah, it's supposed to rain tomorrow though. But then, but then they said a week without any rain. Right, yeah, and some unfortunately 80 plus temperatures, but yeah. All right, so let's see how these guys do. It's obviously going to be this one. Yeah, the one that Johnny and Alex and Joseph worked on is on the my right. Hit the yayi on that boogie butt. Oh, the tread one is moving way slow. We're going to have to speed up the program for that guy. It's working accurately, but very slow. Oh! 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 So then for, move back up, Alex. You're gonna cause it to go off the table. There you go. Oh my God. Now they're both angry eyes right now, so they both see no, each other. No, one of them isn't. No, they both are cycling back and forth angry eyes. I wanna see what happens. It's a stalemate. Well, the referee's fixing to call a deadlock. Wait, 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 no, 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 we're gonna deadlock off the table. So the only problem with yours, Johnny, is it has no traction. It doesn't seem to actually push. The is actually gonna win. Okay, hang on. No, that's boring. The referee won't let it keep going like that. Well, this is the street. Oh! What? Yes! What? <laughs> oh, it sees Alex. Okay. Oh, so, oh, Johnny, oh, if you get lucky you and your robot... Uh, you back away. Yeah, you gotta back away or you'll affect the infrared eyes. will see you away. instead of the other robot. Back away. Get the young Everybody, back away. Please. Thank you. Why is it holding it on? Toxic. It thinks it's toxic. What's that? The guy that wrote the program just did that. Oh, come on, Johnny's robot. Oh. I knew it was going to win. So, Johnny, my only suggestion is we put some more rubber on the back like for a third wheel. Johnny, I think your third wheel needs to be rubber. All right. The boys did a decent job of helping me load up. Uh, all of the lego equipment it's a lot of stuff we even ended up moving the table inside today and doing some trial runs as you'll see in the video um johnny and i are headed home it's 4 10 p.m and uh we'll get there have a little supper and then head to taekwondo we are uh noticing helicopters hoovering up above the school or up above downtown raleigh there's at least two i'm guessing something not good is going on that they're uh, looking for someone or something but uh, maybe we'll get to see some more activity on the way out of town so johnny's on uh, wral.com trying to figure out what's going on down here there's a lot of emergency vehicles over here at moore square uh, not immediately in front of ruby right now but over to our left and uh something's going on I have a feeling our left turn here is blocked. Yep, our left turn's blocked. That's the major artery out of town there. We'll go up to uh, Dawson. This is Blount. 
So I just told Ruby to navigate to home just to see what time we were going to get there. And Lord and behold, I have the new nav update. I've got those little blips up there, but um, I never got any notification that the maps had been installed or that the, there was any sort of an update. A lot of people say they come out to their car and they have an update, you know, something up on the screen that says that it's been installed, but I did, uh, did not have that. It's just there. So Johnny's been monitoring WRIL. Originally there wasn't anything out there, but um, they put a story out now that said that there was a shooting on Blount Street. Um, the person's been taken to the hospital and the suspect is in custody. So um, that happened probably around the time we normally would have turned on to Blount Street. Um, but since we stayed after for Lego League today, that gave them the chance to catch the person and clean up down there. So it was scary though. And it does now say over here, uh, Tesla beta navigation. Although it still says uh, Google uh, map data 2018, Google. Used to say uh, Tesla down there in bigger letters. I guess they've replaced it with the smaller Tesla beta navigation now. Johnny wants to fast forward it so bad. I went through a give it up Casey and the Sunshine Band phase about a couple of years ago where I played it, oh, oh five yeah, or six it. times. No, no, press it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Well, I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. I'm not the biggest change person in the world. Um, it's okay, I guess. It's not uh, making my afternoon, though. So I see it's highlighted Judd Parkway here because that's where I'm going to make a left turn. I did see it miss a few streets, and it's slightly confusing to me that a street that's on the right can be labeled on the left, but I guess that's because of space. You know, sometimes it's one street name on the right and another street name on the left. Um, but obviously, most of the time, the street crosses over, but interesting. There's my hard-working, running man, exercising man. Yep. A little trip down memory lane before we go get our groove on over at Taekwondo. Only 90 miles today.